what up YouTube Darth Dub coming at you from my survival world where I'm gonna show you this creeper farm uh, wanted to do this in RTX uh, got that going on just don't uh, don't quite have a good good video editing software for my PC anybody know a good one for Windows 10 go ahead and hit me in the comments let me know I believe this was a super laggy design um, that's where I got this from anyway uh, I'm glad I waited a little while to build this because uh, having built it in survival now I know that <laughs> you gotta keep your wits about you here because those creepers will straight blow this all up <laughs> yeah it happened so you're gonna wanna open this you're gonna wanna throw what tridents you wanna throw in there uh, I got a whole bunch of them so I'm just throwing four of them in there it's it's whatever you only really only gotta throw one uh, put it in there, get this guy started. You come over. Okay. Put the sword in your hand. Looting three. We all know. Flip this lever here. It drops him in there. And then you just run over to your AFK spot up here. Alrighty. Once you're done AFK and you come on over and flip this one. And that closes the top. No more will drop in there. Let everybody die. Okay. Everybody's dead. Go ahead and flip that break out whatever tool in your hand that you want to repair uh, if you've been AFK for a while you're gonna get a lot of experience right as soon as you start jumping up there there you go you got your XP bada bing bada boom yep my elytra's healed too so then this doesn't need to be open for it uh, if you want to collect your tridents in there you just walk over here bada bing bada boom you got all four of them um, and then put them wherever uh, throw them back in there if you want that's where I usually keep mine uh, sometimes I will put them in one of the chests down here just in case uh, you know bug rock hits sometimes don't want your tridents to disappear once again I got a ton of them so uh, yeah alright now this farm just based on the amount of items in it I would say is not an early game farm I mean you don't need any any materials that are specifically late game materials just the ability to so for instance one layer all the way around is two stacks so that's how much tinted glass I used in this you don't need tinted glass but uh, still that's a lot of cobble that's a lot of anything uh, down here the water platform I used 18 stacks okay 18 stacks that's a lot up at the top the seal the roof here I think I used probably 16 stacks you know so you're gonna cut down a lot of trees you're gonna you're gonna dig out a lot of holes I deleted a couple of desert islands you know fun times alright so I have to redo some of this video uh, you will see the world change halfway through uh, maybe a little less than halfway through but uh yeah sorry for the inconvenience uh, hopefully I get everything uh, pretty comprehensive so we're gonna come up 40 to 50 from the ground to uh, control our spawning and we're gonna place uh, three double chests on top of each other I suggest three this can get to uh, really produce I'm gonna put a couple of blocks here and here so I can stand there and place these hoppers right out of the back. I'm going to come up here right above and we're going to place a hopper pointing down into that. One pointing out of that there and there and it doesn't matter which one of these you point into but point that last one into one of those. Now they all feed into this one which feeds straight down into those. <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead and cover this up. These are going to come up to the level of the hoppers. Next, I'm going to go ahead and place a couple of upside down stairs right here so that can open. Uh, it will drop some of them in there. We'll go ahead and place some trap doors there. And let's go ahead and extend this out. I usually make a little room right here and then we'll bring these up to that level next with the sticky pistons we're going to place 
in a pattern like so. We will put a torch out of the left side of each of these as you face them from the front and then observers from the torch to the piston. Next we want to grab our lever, put it on the side of there, give that bad boy a prime, it's working just fine, flip it again, there it is. Next we're going to grab our block of choice. I like to use glass or something like that. Um, you might think I'm crazy, you know, no damage resistance. And yes, if a creeper gets in here and blows things up, uh, all of it's gone. That is very true. But uh, we're going to make sure creepers don't get in here. Okay, so we're going to bring it up to this level and leave this one open like I just did. Place a trap door on top like this You can go ahead and close that. Now when this is going on, if this is closed, the creepers can't see you so they don't aggro you and they won't blow up. Okay, you're not going to want to AFK right here anyway, but just in case they jump in here, that that's how it works. Next I'm going to come up here. I will go ahead and close this off. and then I'll bring one more up and these can be whatever blocks you want they don't have to be tinted glass um, they, are, they are in my survival world so I'm gonna do that here too you get it up this high and then we're gonna go ahead and bring this out seven on each side did I get that right yep each side out seven now that you've got those all out seven we'll go ahead and connect these together in a square and then fill in the square. This is going to be a water platform. Next we're going to come back down here and off to the side right about here and place a piston. I took these out. That was a mistake. I didn't, didn't need to have those there. Sorry about that. And we'll do that on both these sides here. like that. Next we're going to grab a redstone conductive block and we'll run it behind those pistons like this. We'll run it out just past this and bring it out. Run it back over on the other side the same way. Connect those two. Break out the dust. Come all the way across. And what we're going to do here is we're going to block off the creepers from falling down in the kill chamber so they won't blow your stuff up. Okay, I've got experience with this. It happened to me. It's not fun. So you can come on down here, throw a lever on this. When you flip that, the pistons are out. Nothing can get down in there without breaking that glass. Now you can see from here, because the pistons are extended, that, that it's closed. But if you use different material, you can just throw a, uh, a lamp here that it's closed. I would also grab some torches like this up here so nothing spawns while you're doing this. We're going to come out here, come up one, and on two of these sides we're going to come out seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and then up two three four five six seven but on this side and the next side we're gonna come out six two three four five six two three four five six and we're gonna connect these and we're gonna uh, fill them in now your platform should look similar to this <clears throat> we're gonna come over we're gonna bring uh, one up wrap this all the way around and I said one up, actually we're going to make it two up and wrap that all the way around by two. Now before we get started with the water, something I was about to forget, easy access. Okay, we're going to come down here, we're going to grab our scaffolding out, we're going to bring that up to about here. Actually, yeah, 
to there. We took that, that piece there out. Uh, I would say, actually come back down one more, place this, uh, we're going to have to come back down here, place this before you go up, okay, like that, and we're going to go ahead and place this the rest of the way up, so that way you can get in and out and not worry about, about your water coming down or affecting the flow. With this all done, we're going to go ahead and place in our water. So in each of the corners, we're going to go ahead and place a bucket this high. And then we're going to make sure to stay two away from that before we place our first one there. And then every other one. Now in survival, of course, most people already know this trick, but if you place one here, then you can grab one here and you only need one bucket but anyway and you stop there okay if you go any further than that once you fill this all in it all becomes source blocks and you've gotta go out and uh, <laughs> remove all the water it's it's not fun I've done that once and then we do this all the way around the entirety of this platform so the next thing I did was I came over here to one corner I raised this up three. I came up four, I believe. Yeah, I came up four. And then I came out like that. And one here, like so. And this started my platform, okay? Now, my platform, I came all the way to the other edge here. I had one, two from this side. And I came all the way to this side. I had one, two from that side on all four sides. All right, and you got that. Next thing, every other every other block here, we're going to go ahead and bring one out. We're going to do that on this side too. And once you've got all these out, we're going to bring those all the way down. And this is going to be a thatch pattern. Alrighty, with this crisscross pattern, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and wrap this guy all around with trap doors and close them as we go. Alright, once you've got all those trap doors wrapped around, we're going to go ahead and inside of each one of these, we're going to place a trap door, and you guessed it, we're going to close that puppy. Now that we're done placing the trap doors inside of all of your holes there, we're going to place our buttons on like this, skipping each one. And when we get to the end over here, we're going to go up, skip one, and then continue going in this pattern all the way to the end of the platform. Alrighty, so once we've got this, we're going to go ahead and place another one just like it right above it but you're gonna give it yeah just enough room for creatures to spawn okay, now once you've got your next platform here what we're gonna do is we're gonna come and everywhere you have an empty block you're gonna place above it a trap door okay so you're not gonna place a trap door above a button or above another trap door but on every other block so in this pattern here and you're gonna skip one and that's always fun but then you come across like this and every single one of these holes here is going to have every side with a trap door on it and every diagonal is going to be open across the entirety of this thing alright now that you've got these added we're going to add platforms 3 through 8 all right, so in survival, when I'm when I'm placing these things, I would have raised this along with 
placing the platforms in order to give me a spot to place these on. Uh, but anyway, from there, what we're going to do is we're going to come up, give this two, and we're going to cover this guy with our roof. And we're only going to cover this final platform. We're not going to come out any further than that just yet. This here, notice that it does not have holes in it. It is not a platform. It is the roof. Notice you got a creeper there spawning on here. Now that you've put that there, they're going to spawn during the daytime, okay? You've got an option of what to do here, okay? This whole build, you could have built during the daytime, or you could have suffered a lot of blow-ups, okay? Sorry I didn't mention that earlier. You could put lights around and just take them off as you're finishing up, or you could do like I did, and you could turn your game into peaceful for a few moments. Yeah, you might think that's cheating. But, uh, hey, uh, you know, we each keep our sanity our own ways. So, uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and come over here, and we're going to do the same, same pattern up here that we did on all the platforms underneath. Every other one. Oh. all the way to this side like that and then we're going to come back and we're going to do this thatch pattern all the way to the other end of the roof all right so with with the walls all the way up with the uh, final roof with the slabs all over the top of it we'll go ahead and cover this the rest of the way up to keep the light out once again this does not have to be tinted glass but it has to be something to keep the light out if you just want to extend your roof out to about 15 blocks past uh, that's fine too that should keep all of the light out that should uh, get you the same rates now the last thing you want to do is come up here and I like to go up to the middle one. One, two, three, four. I like to line myself up with that fourth one. And I like to come with my platform out right about the middle of there. Yeah, so probably right around this area here. We're just going to come out and where am I right here? 220 we're gonna go out and uh, say 25 now 20 22 from here so 198 should be good and that's where our afk spots gonna be so just build yourself a little afk spot right there and go to town collecting yourself some gunpowder another tip make sure all areas are well lit to include the roof of this thing that way you do not have to worry about mobs spawning on top and taking up your cap so this is definitely on the monotonous side of a build it took me a few days to do in survival um that's with all the materials i get about nine stacks an hour on this <clears throat> so as to whether or not it's worth it for you i guess that depends on how easy it is to find a witch hut in your world how easy, uh, well, or how much you like flying around and blowing stuff up in your world. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. It's been real. Peace.